Amber Zinke with Evolve Electrical. Today we're going to be going over the hanger placement feature within Evolve Electrical. But today we're going to be focusing on clash detection with immovable hangers. Within my settings, I'm going to choose my profile, which I'm going to do the six foot spacing. I can adjust my spacing, distance from end, and my rounding within our placement tab. Within the Merlac tab, we can select if we want to include Merlac hangers, and then from there we can adjust your settings as well. Within the family settings, you can have your auto detect type on, you can adjust your hanger attachments. Also, you can have if you want your kind of on top, bottom, what is your shut size, what is your shut type, what is your gap distance, do you want a beam clamp, do you want a center rod, and you can adjust your hardware size as well. But the main thing we're going to be focusing on is collision detection. So with collision detection, we have an auto collision adjustment. We can adjust also your settings within here. So you can have your tolerance, your move interval, your maximum movement, your stretch interval, your maximum stretch, your maximum stretch length. And then the big thing is we have a highlight and movable hangers. So the awesome thing is also you can choose whatever color that you want your hangers and elements to be highlighted. So what's cool about the movable hanger feature in Evolve is if there is no possible way to fix this clash, it will highlight that color. So you can kind of understand when you need to go back and adjust some things manually, even though this will automatically place all the hangers for you and get you about 95% done when it comes to placing your hangers and avoiding all the clashes. So from there, we're going to press OK. And then you can also adjust your options. So where do you want your hangers to be attached to? The near structure overhead, distance below level, linked model, and a reference plane. I really like the fact that you have that option between the linked models, choosing which one you want. Then for your mode, do you want your hangers to be placed in the entire path, change direction, or a single hanger? And then you're going to choose the direction that you want your hangers to be placed. And as you can see now that the hangers have been placed, some of the elements have been highlighted the color that you defined within the settings for immovable hangers. So this hanger was immovable because of the settings that we defined when it comes to the maximum stretch and movement. But what's really awesome is the fact that the other hangers within this run were perfectly placed and averted the clashes that were present. So that is the really awesome feature about this is it'll place all of the hangers automatically, it'll avert the clashes, and whatever clashes can't be averted will highlight it. I like the fact that throughout Evolve you get those visual cues of when things need to be adjusted manually or when you're kind of needing to put in some extra thought into how you're going to be coordinating this. So then from there you can clear the clashes to remove the highlighted color from the elements. So that is today's Fun Feature Friday on hanger placement feature with Evolve Electrical with a highlight on immovable hangers. If you have any questions or want to see more, please visit our website and request a demo. Thank you.